Hi and welcome back to a quick tip production video here. Uh, before I jump in, like, subscribe, that is always very useful. Ring the bell, leave comments and all that kind of stuff. And so let's jump straight in. This is about how to make a reverse reverb before a musical part or a, or a vocal part at the beginning of a song or even in the song. It doesn't matter where it is. This is how I would do it. There's probably other ways of doing it, but this is the way I've been doing it for years now. So I would uh, consider that this is um, probably the best way because I do it. No, just kidding. But anyway, so um, what I do is I've got a vocal. I pulled this in from Apple Loops, which is basically just a... Okay, so what I'm going to do here is with my Chrome Reverb... I've uh, programmed a really long reverb, 22 seconds here, and I've m taken the dry out and put the wet right up. Okay, so this is really extreme now. If I put it on. So what I want to do is, I want to have just this bit at the beginning here. Let me just uh, turn it off. Just that na bit there. So just before it goes down. So get rid of this here. What I do is I'll move that along a bit here. And what I do is I'll bounce this in place. Now, uh, the thing is with bouncing in place, you've got to be careful because when you open up bounce in place, it will only bounce the uh, region that's selected. So what you have to do is you have to be careful here and you have to bring up bounce in place, but Usually you'd have bypass effects plugins, but we'll take that off because we want the effects, okay? Then you have include audio tail in file, include audio tail in region, so I'll put them on, and um, then I'll go OK, and that will bounce it with the reverb. Okay, so you can see it's really long here, which is great. So now... I can go back to the original here, just delete that, pull this one out again, right? Move that along to, just say eight bars, right? I'll now go into region, uh, select reverse. Now we've got this reversed, right? So we probably won't need that to be as long, so I'll just exaggerate it. Let's get this sounding good. So we want it to be like at the peak of it here so here this should then you can just dose this dose this the way you dose it the way you want it so take the reverb off and now another trick i do as well is i add the end verb to give it a bit of funkiness with the uh, when it's playing through, I basically sort of, uh, selected re reverb long, right? And this will give it a, a, an effect whilst it's being played. <laughs> Which is pretty cool as well. You can also then add back the chrome reverb to just to give it a bit of. Um, a bit of reverb to it if you want so I would go back to kind of like uh, dry 30% here maybe a little bit left a bit of dry in there and bring the decay down to sort of like this and just see what this sounds like so that's a cool effect if you uh, if you're looking to do that, that's how I do it. Reverse reverb effects. You can do that obviously on anything like, um, you know, drums and uh, keyboard parts, guitars, whatever you want. But uh, that's the way I do it. So yeah, there you have it. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you soon. Ciao.